everyone? How are you doing? I am camping tonight. I've got my truck all set up. Um, I got the front runner tent all built out on top now and we are going to do a little photography tonight. Um, I'm on top of Figueroa Mountain. Um, I don't know if you've ever had Figueroa Mountain beer before, but they're one of their main breweries is right at the bottom of this road. Um, but I actually took the road. We're about 40 minutes up. Um, I think my elevation is somewhere around four or 5,000 feet right now. What's my elevation? 4,021 feet. It's a little windy, uh, a little cold, but tonight I'm gonna try and shoot a, get a whole bunch of photos of stars tonight. Uh, but I'm also gonna do a star time lapse and I'm gonna kind of take you through that. Um, why I picked the top of this road is that there, I was searching on Google Maps and I found this really cool spot down here. You, you might be able to see the big rock right here, but these random big rocks everywhere up here. One of which, just down the ridge right here, has this massive tree growing out of the side of it. And I just thought that would be the coolest kind of foreground spot for a time lapse going through it. So uh, I'm about to make dinner, get set up, um, get everything ready, and then we're gonna pop down there and I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm talking about and what everything I have set up for this shoot tonight. So I will see you then. Okay, also before we kind of get into the photography stuff like this, I want to kind of show you my setup now that I have everything kind of going as planned and how I'd like it. In the rooftop tent here, what I have found that kind of makes it the most comfortable for sleeping is, check this out. So in here, I have a heated blanket and this gets sandwiched between a fleece cover to the mattress that Front Runner has and then I also have kind of a fleece so the heated blanket is fleece. I just bring my regular covers and pillow and I'm all set up. So the reason I chose a heated blanket to heat the tent was because the watts needed for a heated blanket, I think it was like 170, 180 watts per hour to run that blanket. Any other heater, electric heater, is gonna be up to like 1500 watts, which my power source, so my power source, a Yeti 400, can only hold 300 watts continuous output. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna show you kind of what we're dealing with and what the surroundings are right now. So here's a little quick couple night shots of this campsite. All right, so we're down here at the spot. I'm gonna be setting up my camera here. I have the Canon 60 with a 16 to 35 f 2.8. I'm gonna basically just be setting it up on this all night. I'm gonna let it run on its own intervalometer and it's gonna be taking photos all night. I found this thing on Google Earth. Um, this is called Blade and Tree. It is here at the top of Figaro Mountain. There was like only a few shots of it um, on Google Earth. So I thought that I'd come out here and it'd be a perfect opportunity to take some night time-lapse photography of it. It is pitch black out here. There is no moon. Today is February 16th. It's Friday, I believe it is. Um, so it's just past the new moon. So the, the, there's no moon in the sky whatsoever. There are no clouds tonight. Uh, the temperature, I believe, is going to be dropping down to about 36 tonight. Um, so it's going to get chilly, all of which kind of makes for a really good environment for shooting night photography. I'm not 100% sure if the Milky Way is going to come out yet or not because the Milky Way season is more between like April and July in the Northern Hemisphere. Right now, I think we're just gonna get a whole bunch of stars. Being up here, one of the coolest things is this. We are alone up here. It is, it's pretty fun. It's a little nerve wracking because I'm like, I'm setting up for this camera right here and I'm like getting my light ready and then all of a sudden I turn my flashlight to the side and there's like, two glowing eyes in the bushes. And of course, like I had no clue what it was and like we're, I'm in mountain lion territory, you know? And um, that is a definite possibility. Stay cautious, you never, oh. All right, 
Sorry, my light went out. But um, I am going to take a few test shots, and here are those test shots right now. I think those look really sick, um, but I'm going to set this up and let this run all night, most of the night. So I'm going to check back in with you after that. But here is my night sky time lapse from the top of Figaro Mountain in Los Olivos. Enjoy. It's 38 degrees outside. Uh, All right, out of bed. I had no idea how cool of a view this place was. It was totally dark last night when I got here. But look at this view. that's it I'm packing up that was such a cool adventure this spot is absolutely amazing I had a great night sleeping in my front runner tent it kept me warm I had my electric blanket going for a bit oh it was such a nice setup but this spot right here is like pretty magical in the morning right when that Sun comes up God, the colors were just crazy I will leave the GPS coordinates in the description below also Oh, wrong way. I would love to thank all 1,000 people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel thus far. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and hit the like button. Just click it. Just, just click it. It's right down there. Just click it. It's right. Click it. Click the button. I just hit 1,000. 1,000 what? What are the units? People? Humans? And I would. And uh, what was I gonna say?